by 1919 the Ottoman Empire was in shambles falling apart and a British army under General Allenby with many Arabs and Punjabi Muslims fighting faithfully under his control attacked the Turkish garrison which was defending Jerusalem defeated it and liberated the Holy Land. This was a joyous day for the Jews because now the countdown is really moving forward and the golden age is coming back. In the same 1919 when the Ottoman Empire is collapsing and it is losing all its non-Turkish possessions, all the Arab parts of the Ottoman Empire are falling away. The Greek army now invades the Turkish mainland, Anatolia. And the Turkish people now have a tremendous fright in their hearts because the Greeks hate them with a PhD in hatred. So Britain now has to create a Turkish general who would appear to the Turkish people as a savior who has come down from the heavens with his hands resting on the wings of angels to save the Turkish people. And so at a place called Gallipoli, a man named Mustafa Kemal inflicts a defeat on the ruling state in the world. Britain and immediately climbs the ladder to become the hero of all heroes in Turkish history. Very convenient, isn't it? Mustafa Kemal now takes over. He is in fact de facto, de facto ruler over the Ottoman Empire and the Khalifa is just a piece of furniture. In 1920, I think, or 21, there was a big treaty, uh, negotiations in Versailles, and from this emerged now the Turkish Republic, which replaces the Ottoman Islamic State. But Mustafa Kemal said, the Turkish people love their Khalifa. So if Europe could have a Pope, well, why can't we have a Pope too? This was simplistic thinking on the part of Mustafa Kemal. If the Europeans could have a Pope, well, so too can we. So the new Turkish government of Mustafa Kemal decided to take the Khilafa and remove from it all political authority and make the Khalifa the equivalent of the Pope. This was 1922. And things were going fine for him. Turkish people were happy. Khilafa is still there. And the leadership of the revolution in Turkey were very happy because we have a secular state now, a model after the European state. But in 1924, on the 3rd of March, suddenly Britain demanded, of course, this is a secret. They wouldn't reveal it. Britain demanded of, Ottoman, of, of Mustafa Kemal that he must abolish the Khilafah. The demand came from Britain. And on the 3rd of March 1924, the Turkish Republic abolished the Khilafah. 